Uh, the question for today is, uh, can a convex lens act as a concave lens? So we have to justify this by giving an example. Uh, during our initial days in school, we are taught that uh, a convex lens is something that is uh, bulged in the middle and uh, something uh, narrow uh, at the edges. And uh, concave is something that is uh, narrow in the middle and uh, uh, wider at the edges. And uh, later on, we started to uh, know by their uh, accents. So we say converging lens, we say diverging lens. The naming is according to their accents. So now, convex means converging. So is there a possibility that uh, they can act as a concave lens? So we have shown two possibilities here. We have a parallel rays here. And uh, these uh, orange colored lights show their converging action. They gather at a point, which is the focus and uh, the green lies show their uh, diverging action. So can we change this into this is the main theme. This uh, question is answered by the use of a lens, lens makers formula which is like this. So 1 by f equal to mu minus 1, 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2. Mu is the refractive index of the lens compared to the medium. So mu is the, is the ratio of the refractive index of lens and that of the medium. And R1 and R2 are the radii of curvatures of the surfaces. Now, this mu depends on mu lens and mu medium. So, if we have mu lens is more than mu of the medium, so this makes us uh, mu is more than 1, and which makes us mu minus 1 is a positive quantity. So, if this is positive, we will have this 1 by f is positive and f is positive. So f positive means that uh, the lens will be convex. But if by some way we can make mu lens is less than mu medium, at that time we will have mu less than 1, which means mu minus 1 will be negative. So this makes us, this makes us 1 by f is also negative and f also negative. f negative means that now the lens will be a concave one. The light rays will be diverging instead of converging. So this happens in especially in such cases. For example, air bubbles inside water. So those air bubbles will be acting as a concave lens. So though we do not find this case normally, air bubbles inside water can definitely form an example of a, uh, of a certain bulged body, convex body, let us say, which is acting as a concave lens which is diverging light rays.